Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca, and this is a true AX9 stick kind of preview, first look thing. Um, so before, I, I obviously can't use this based on when this video comes out because uh, rinks aren't open. Um, but I'm going to start shooting with it in my basement, hopefully to get some feel of it. Um, but a full review of it won't go out until like I can actually use it on the ice. Uh, but a lot of people were asking about this, so I'm going to talk about it really quickly. Um, so the AX9 is basically... Um, true combining the A6.0 HT with the A6.0, I think it was HBT or something, or SBP, I can't remember what their, the naming of it was off the top of my head. Um, they used to have three lines of sticks, two were A series, one was a X, I think C or X, um, now it's just two. So they dropped one line, you look on their website, it doesn't exist anymore, because they had the hair trigger, which is the low kick, and then their normal A series. Um, this replaces that all, and now it's a, they say it's a low kick. Um, so that's, here we go. This is their, I believe their lightest stick to date. This one comes in at, so their website says 389 grams. I think this one's 409. I measured it on that scale. I measure all my sticks. Um, and like, so I might be off by a few, but it's pretty close. It's not 389 to 409 few. So I'm wondering what exactly they use to measure that, or if it's a different blade, which could be it, or if they took out kind of the plugs and everything to measure it to. Regardless, it's still a very light stick. I definitely don't feel a weight when using it, but it's not a super light, like the Bauer Fly Light and like the Holpa I have, but that's not a huge issue to me because I feel that once you're at the about 400, 410, it's not a big gap anywhere. Um, so yeah, so this is a Marner, as you can see, TC2, 85 Flex. Um, the last A series I used was more whippy than I thought it was rated. So I'm really curious to see if this one is the same. Um, I don't know a ton to say about this without using it. I guess we can kind of look at the graphics. This is True's biggest departure from their kind of, um, they were kind of understated for a while and now they're definitely not. This is a blue tint, almost like an aqua blue tint all the way through the, um, the stick. And it's, it looks awesome in my opinion. Like the AX9 here looks really good where you can see the weave behind it, but it's still blue through the chrome. Um, it's a really interesting change and it's a, a it's something pretty different from what True is doing. The XC9 was this direction as well, but before they're all really understated, kind of hard to tell apart. Not so much with this. This one you can really tell apart from the other ones. Um, really kind of cool thing is the, hopefully it shows up on camera, the AX9 in the blade right there. It almost looks like an S5 or so, or sorry, a S3, but I think that's a nine. Um, very interesting there. Technology wise, I don't like talking about tech and sticks because a lot of it I believe is marketing and hype and it's like unless you use it and can tell a difference what's the point like this says it has their fiber shield technology okay um i can tell you it has the the bladed ribs in the blade which i do think make a difference and you can kind of see them in the weave um it's at the bottom and comes back up here true's website's really awesome for showing you the tech and the sticks and showing you like it does a cutaway and stuff like that so i suggest you check that out if you're actually interested because i honestly don't care about tech unless I can notice it making a significant difference. Um, and in the past, from my experience with Trues, I haven't. Um, so I'm not going to go into that a lot. Um, the shaft is concave on the sides, um, pretty rounded corners, pretty comfortable in the hands, kind of fits in there, not even close to what CCM triggers are. But I mean, that's different because it's for the kick point. One thing that True isn't doing yet, which most companies are, is the kind of press blade. So this is still totally smooth. Whereas CCM and Bauer and Sherwood, the blades are like textured on it. So these ones are still totally smooth all the way through um, compared again to those textured ones. But that's about it for this. I'm a huge fan of Luck. Really, really like it. I um, have to give true props for that. Besides that, I can't use it to see on, on skates because I always feel, even when I shoot something like at a like rapid shot or in my basement with a net and stuff, until you get on the ice and you're actually moving around and shooting and passing, it's really hard to tell what a stick will do. Um, so for that, I can't judge this yet and I won't be able to judge it for a while, but I am gonna take some shots with this and there'll be a video on that up on my Instagram, just how it felt, stuff like that. So thank you very much for watching. Remember to like this video, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram and Twitter where I make other content that isn't big enough for YouTube and I think it's pretty helpful. And if you do buy a piece of gear because of one of my videos, please reach out to the manufacturer, let them know. Helps me get on their radar so I can do more content like this and make a bunch more stuff for you. Anyways, stay safe and take it easy.